Welcome to our series on the names of God. Today we are going to be looking at Jehovah Sakar. The Lord is our reward. This is the second name God used to remind Abraham about himself, or, or maybe better said to put things into perspective for Abraham. So as we saw last time in Genesis 15, 1, the Lord came to Abraham in a vision saying, do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, and now we're looking at your exceedingly great reward. Now this word has been translated as higher, reward, wages, price, fair, or worth. It's not a gift. It's a payment, and so it is often what we look forward to receiving after we have done something. A reward can be our motivation. So. That's why this name is so important because God is coming to Abraham. God is coming to us and saying, I want to be your motivation. I am your reward. Abraham had just been a part of recuperating great riches. And those riches had been offered to him by the king of Sodom. He turned them down, basically saying he was not ever going to let the king of Sodom claim that he had made Abraham rich. And then God shows up and tells Abraham, I'm your reward. Now, what did God mean by that? Why, out of all the names he could have called himself at that moment to Abraham, why did he tell him, I'm your shield and I'm your reward? And not just reward, but see, exceedingly great reward. Exceedingly here is placed before the word great. It's an amplification of great, abundantly great, you know, really, really, really great. And great here is not the sense of might or power, but of number, multiplied, increase, many. So when we put these three words together, God is our reward that is not equal to the reward we think we might, uh, it might be our due or something we, for something we did well. He is far Beyond that, Abraham had rejected the riches from kings. God is better. He is better than anything you and I could ever hope for. You that are married, have you ever gone through something uh, stressful or a loss and, and your husband comes in and he sweetly says to you some statement like, but I'm here, you have me. And, and some of you have heard that, and it is cute, and it is comforting, but reality is our husband being there is usually just not enough. Yet here comes God to Abraham, and he says to Abraham, in a time when Abraham is feeling like he's lacking something in his life, he's lacking an heir, Abraham, I am your reward. I am the best thing that is ever going to happen to you, Abraham. In Lamentations 3.24, we have the words, The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in him. Jeremiah figured that out. In the midst of all his sorrow and lamenting, the Lord was his portion. He would put his hope not in things changing or even in things getting better, but he would put his hope in the Lord himself. What a great reminder that is to us as we go through this pandemic that uh, our answer to relief is, is not going to be just this thing going away, but our hope is in the Lord himself. And then the ending book, Revelation. Jesus is very excited about showing heaven to John. And first John noticed there was no sea, but then he saw a holy city and he heard a voice. And the first thing God wanted John to know about heaven was this. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. The best thing about heaven the very best thing about heaven will not be that there is no more sorrow, no more tears, no more weary bodies. It will be that God himself is with us. 
That's been his message to us from the very beginning, from our chapter here in Genesis to the last chapters of Revelation, the best of everything you and I could ever have or experience is God himself. He is our exceeding great reward. And any time we th think something else will be better, we're settling for far less than what satisfies and brings us real joy. Precious Ravi Zacharias made this statement. I came to him longing for something I did not have. I remain with him because I have something I will not trade. I only know my life was wrong and I needed somebody to make it right. I come to him because I did not know which way to turn. I remain with him because there is no other way I wish to turn. Ravi learned that our God is Jehovah Sakao. He's our exceedingly great reward. And then look at verse 2 of Genesis 15. But Abraham, Abraham's response to, do not fear, I am your, your shield and exceedingly great reward was this. Lord God, what will you give me seeing I go childless? God makes this incredible proclamation of himself to Abraham and Abraham's response is, but. Like, that's real nice, Lord, but. And then look at the words. What will you give me? Great words coming from the man we will call the father of faith, don't you think? And God says, I am your reward. And Abraham still wants something else. See, have, have you ever been there? I, I'm sure you have. We, we all have. You come to a Bible study and you bask in all that you have because you have Jesus. And you walk away thinking, but. But it sure would be nice if. And he put something else in the blank. That's what Abraham did. He was this man of faith, but he still had some uncertainties. It's like, Lord, you've made these promises to me, but I'm not seeing it. I don't have a son. How are you going to do this? And God renewed his promise to Abraham that he would indeed have a son. And his descendants would be so many that they could not be numbered. And then the words that I'm sure put a really big smile on the Lord's face from verse 6. And he, Abraham, believed the Lord and he accounted it to him for righteousness. God is Jehovah Sakar our reward, our exceedingly great reward. The Lord is saying to you and to me, I'm your reward. You get me. Out of all we get in life, we get God. Is that enough for you? May we gain a deeper understanding of the pleasure that it brings our God when we believe him. Not just as Abraham believed God's promise of a son, but we believe God, that he is our shield and he is our exceedingly great reward. May the Lord bless you as you praise him for this.